is Emily Staggs. I'm a patient at Dayton Children's and back in January of 08, I was diagnosed with a brain tumor. I had noticed a lot, like just randomly, that I was actually lactating and I was like, hmm, this is really weird. So I told my mom about it and she took me to the doctor and we got my blood drawn and when those results came back, my prolactin level was like seven times higher than what it should have been. Her pediatrician called to say, It is hard that there was a tumor there, but she told me not to worry that she was on it and that we were scheduled to see doctors uh, at Children's Friday morning. When we got the results from the MRI, they called my mom and she told me that there was a tumor on my pituitary gland and that they were going to have to meet more doctors because they were going to try and figure out more about this and just what exactly it was. You know, we examined her and did a full neurologic exam and then did some diagnostic studies to try to help eliminate other possibilities or other type of tumors. We, we took a special tube with a scope, just like a periscope, put it up her nose, went right back through the nasal channels, right back into where the tumor was. And when we got there, we could actually take pieces of the tumor, try to debulk as best we could, and, uh, and get a piece of tissue for the pathologist to make a diagnosis. If we were to try to grab and tug and pull more tumor out, we may get more than we bargained for when you start tugging. Our medical alternative is a very effective medicine and we don't have to take out this entire tumor to affect a good treatment for her. She'll be taking her medicine every day and hopefully this will keep this tumor in check and shrink over time. Whether it will shrink the tumor away completely, that remains to be seen. But as long as we keep it in absolute check and it doesn't cause her any deleterious effects, then she can go on and live her life normally without worrying about this tumor. Push, push. Push, push, stop. She's definitely uh, not letting uh, this brain tumor affect her in any way. Whatever she's capable of doing, she's kinda, you know, doing that. And um, you would never know uh, unless you look at her medical records that she actually has a brain tumor because she doesn't show any ill effects of it outwardly for the most part. Um. So, since you've been here, how have you been? Good. Anything? Day Children's is special to me, I guess, because they personalize everything. It's, when you go and are in an appointment, it's like you're their only patient. You know, that's all they're worrying about is you and how you've been doing and what they can do to help you or, you know, it's always just, it, they make you seem like they don't have 20 other patients to go see after you. It's like you're the one that they're concerned about. And, well, I know that I'm always going to be receiving the best care and that there's always going to be someone there to take care of me, and if I ever have any questions, I can always go there and they'll find an answer for me. Emily is such an encouragement. I don't think there's anything that this kid can't face in life that she's not going to be able to overcome. And um, I tell her this all the time. One of these days, I'm going to be say, able to say, I knew that girl when, when she's changing this world. And she's going to. She's going to make a statement in this world. She really is. You know, if you always focus on the bad of a situation, that's all it's ever going to be and you're not going to, you can't live your life worrying about what's going to happen or anything like that. You know, Dayton Children's has really reassured me that everything's going to be okay and I'm fine and that I can just continue living my life normally, so I try not to let it affect me. 